Workers at a local animal adoption agency say that they're constantly looking over their shoulder. A woman who lives nearby has allegedly been harassing them, even chasing away potential adopters. Ross Gadotti joins us now live tonight to explain new at five. Ross, good evening. This has been going on apparently for some time. The Pet Adoption League of Westmoreland County's director, Sarah Jo Smith, says she just wants to come and do her job, but she's made very clear she is frightened of her neighbor. Sarah Jo Smith's life is dedicated to one thing. Yeah, we just want to get the, the dogs and cats homes, just get them adopted. But as director of the Pet Adoption League of Westmoreland County, that has been proving to be very difficult lately, and here's why. This is a, this is a the sorriest excuse for a human being I've ever seen in my life. That is 68-year-old Barbara Flanagan. She lives next door in the yellow house right by the kennel. She has been cited for harassment and other charges here a lot. Over the last couple years, it's been hundreds. She'll bang on the windows, walk around the building banging on the windows, yelling at me. Flanagan's alleged harassment has become so bad the people with the Pet Adoption League have had to put this sign on the front door telling folks the woman in the yellow house is not affiliated with the Pet Adoption League. Please don't give her dogs or donations meant for the Pet Adoption League. We've lost adopters before. I believe we've lost donors. It's my belief that we've lost donors over it. Flanagan wasn't available for comment. The latest court visit has made it clear if the woman continues, she could very well end up in jail. Sarah Jo Smith says she just wants it all to end. Sometimes it gets scary. You know, I mean, it, it can be very scary sometimes. All right, we're awaiting in the next couple of weeks a ruling from a Westmoreland County judge as to whether or not Flanagan will, in fact, be going to jail. One particular instance is disturbing for the folks at the adoption agency. They would bring in autistic children on a regular basis, but apparently, and it's been caught apparently on videotape, Miss Flanagan frightened the children so badly they never returned. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.